three runs, so he's due for a good start. We're count of 234 as he looks at a strike. To get a one, two, three inning, get some confidence and take it to the house. I mean, this is a this line average the lowest. They just this is really a triple A lineup. 18 and a half behind St. Louis. And a big swing and popped up. Royal called off. Fam in left, Duran in center, Verdugo in right. Behind the plate, Reese McGuire catching Nick Pavetta. Just a couple of singles, two hits over might, seven. Might have been the best game we saw him this year, and there's been a several. And popped up and backing out of Royal. Switch hitting center fielder 17 home runs. So he can swing it a little bit as he takes a curve in the dirt. Coming off a big right he got traded for McCutcheon several years ago. He did 1 0. And a good breaking ball. An overstatement. He was that good. Oh he was so good. And that curveball was really a devastating pitch for it him. It really was. It's big out. Got it. Had a runner third boom. But he was spotting that cheese too, commanding, you know, the some of the best games of his career, certainly with the Red Sox, that is across for a called strike. That included a complete game against the Houston. Beat them five to one. There's that curveball. He walks him. Will not go. So Reynolds is on. Yankees a little bit. As Moss used to be long. Two down, a runner on, four nothing. Sox. It's going to be lined the other way toward the gap, and it'll drop down for Fam. A base hit for Gamble. Reynolds up to. With two gone. And he starts him off with a breaking ball in. Went six, five hits, three runs. Quality start. He'll squibber right back to him. And on. Well, Red Sox getting a lot of help with a drop in shallow left field. The center fielder just dropped one to Reynolds, on which given a five nothing advantage real early tonight. Yeah, you got to pepper that strike zone right there. Five games, one and one with a 2.93 ERA, and allowing three runs or few. And a two-two. Looking for his first K. Knuckle curve. How about that? Into the shift. And Arroyo gets it. This is just his second time that they've worked together. And he told me that it's not hard to build up a rapport with his staff. A lot of it will come from in the competition. And I asked Nick how they worked together the last time out. He said it was good. Fighting for the playoff live still. But he's happy to be a part of it. Jemai, thank you. A high fastball on Castro. Ball the other way. I mean, he looks as comfortable as can be. Pretty athletic, too. Still yes. already some bullpen activity. And a high pop up into center field, drifting back to Ram, but plenty of room over there. You talk about a no name lineup. I, I, there's no team like this. Love to see the city, seeing all those young kids. That's. This is different though. Doesn't it seem different? Did they have a lot of prospects? Actually 30th. It's ridiculous. It really is. Pathetic. Former Sox GM Ben. They do. That's what they're doing, I assume. Trying. Little fly ball center field. Duran was right. It'll be 9-1-2 in their lineup against Pavetta. Red Sox plus in 14. Downtown, it is the way to reach this park. Swung on and missed on some high heat. He struck him. Top of the order, Mercado. He has gone 0 for 1 with a fly to center. There's that good curve. Reels three times next, but not all of those games will be in Baltimore. Last one is going to be in Williamsport. And a 1 1. How many seat stadium do they have there? It can't be big. There's no easy yeah. town city. To Sox are about to find that out. <laughs> actually, curveball down. 
The 2 2. Got under that, pops it up, but that'll drift foul. Bang, see ya. Sure did. 95 to punch out Mer College roommate of Bobby Dahlbeck at Arizona. Is that right? Yeah. Hit 308 with 12 home runs. Last couple of years, he's been one of the worst hitters in baseball. But I do recall he had a good year. But in 2019, he was very, very good. 1 1. Yeah, because he's getting up there. Curvature, what do you want to do here? High cheese. Yanked it, but he's got to know how they do it, you know, to be consistently throw that thing well, upstairs and he walked him. So, number two and Reynolds, who is by far the ball at Vanderbilt, and he'll fly that one to left near the line. Fam moving on over, still coming, and Tommy gets. Red Sox in command, bottom of the fourth inning, and a breaking ball in there for a strike to Gamble. Five nothing lead for the Sox, and sent eight men to hit in the top of the first inning. Try to remember what Pavetta. Remember they got rid of Workman. Shot into center field, but Duran has been very active out there tonight. Hauls it in. Bad low for one. And that's right through there at 94. As we often do, looking at the starting pitchers and mm -hmm. you know what the trend is during their current season. A little fly ball. Duran sees that, puts it away. He tightened it all up a little bit, you know? A little more a little quieter. You know, and then it, it got the, it's a great way to describe how he looks so far tonight. And during that run where he was pitching and his stuff any pitch any time that's when you're on top of your game. You know when. Trying to get Cruz for the second time tonight. Is that a hook. Garcia from. Oh yeah. From Texas that so he does a little dance. There you go. He got him struck him out. They go in order here in the fourth. Our Bell insurance here for the Jimmy fine here for good. Bottom five and Rodolfo Castro is over and Jemiah Webster as well. Notice that the San Diego Juan Soto t-shirt giveaway. After the superstar shortstop was banned 80 games on Friday. It, shockingly when that news came out. Well it's got to be upsetting to San Diego fans. Fly Madras is 0 for 1 he has flied out to center. All Take one high and tight. All of a sudden, it's Atlanta. He walked only two. He'll punch in a strike there. 93. Castro off the bag at first. Not a big lead. There it is. Nobody out. She's by right back to the heat. Oh. Indeed. He yeah. Have to carry a file around. But they are, like with Wake, he'd use his, his nails. He's just using his knuckle, his skin. This has got nothing to do. And a recovery here for Pavetta. There's a slider. We haven't seen one of those for a while. Did he go? Did not go. That disappeared on him. Liking the slider a little bit better here in the fifth inning. Yeah. Get that thing in there. Left it out over, trying to come in. And here's his one two. He hangs in there. Kind of a half swing, but he made bat. And one two. Buried the breaking ball and knocked down by McGuire, but no advance by the runner. Oh. And got him. He's flied out and struck out. Fan said. We 
filed away here. It was on Tuesday. Tony said I, he had no idea that a fan near the dugout was yelling for him to roll. Uh, and he did. Fans getting credit for it. Popped up. And Arroyo and Hernandez. Kike will move on. Newman, Reynolds, and Gamble. That is going to be 2 3 4. Going after that first one to pop up. And foul ground. Hosmer has room. And Newman's retired. He's over two. Boy, that's a race. The Cy Young winner, Robbie Ray. I doubt they ever lost the home runs. Drove in 90 for Pittsburgh. Came up empty on that slider. One down, 0 2. Basement of the Central Division in the National League. 1 2. Followed by the Orioles. 2-2 two, two coming. Movement. You gotta have a lot of pieces fall into place. Tampa's playing New York. You hope the Tampa you always everybody's flight schedule. When they're getting in, he does. What hour they're arriving. Breaking no, ball. Oh, we gave it to him. In there. This being the fourth. Gamble the batter. Goes right after the fastball. Lost the game five to two, despite the fact that he punched out that many. That Velasquez, I think it was Velasquez, hit a three-run shot, came out of nowhere. One-one. That yeah, probably one of his better games. It'll be a high fly ball in the right field. It hangs up though. Verdugo settling. Featuring Tanner Hout, Saturday night at eight. Immediately following our post-game coverage. Or stream it on the Nesson 36 for the back issue that landed him on the injured list. And Alex Cora provided us an update today, today, and he said there's a disc, but said this week will be huge for him to see where we're going to decide to do with him next. Mm, okay. He was doing it, having a decent year for them in the sure. bullpen. Everything lined up. Coombs gave up five runs, five hits, walked three, but right shoulder fatigue is what they're calling it. He came out and took a look at him. Popped up at you right now, isn't he? On the season, he's thrown more innings than anybody. It's a ground ball, but perfectly situated. Arroyo to struck out. One of six K's for Pavetta. And that's a strike. That's been a dynamic pitch. That was a little lazy one there. Left out over. Oh, and two. Cruz. Coming any taller than that at his position. A little chopper up the middle. He 96 pitches for Pavetta. Right down the chute. And if you weren't with us at the very top, Red Sox got four runs in the first inning. Fam let off the ball. He set the tempo again tonight. And smashed to first base. Hosber will underhand flip. <laughs> Thank you.